Day three takes us on a 150 mile drive to the town of Durango, Colorado. After a tour of the historic downtown district, we head 30 miles to the Mesa Verde National Park. After a scenic drive through the park, we head to the Four Corners National Monument. And then travel 75 miles to a unique hotel in Utah. Downtown Durango is a nationally registered historic district and home to historic boutique hotels, award-winning restaurants, laid-back brew pubs, art galleries, museums, and shops. Although the town has a western look, it clearly has transformed into a modern town for young adventurers. Everywhere you look are mountain bikers, hikers, and 4x4s built for the trails. Many of the original buildings constructed and used by pioneers can still be found in the town, including the Grand Strader Hotel, built in 1887 and still in operation today.
Before leaving Durango, we stopped at a local supermarket to stock up on supplies before we headed out to the desert part of our road trip. We bought snacks and two cases of water, which lasted us the rest of the trip. Mesa Verde National Park, Spanish for Green Table, was established to preserve archaeological sites built by the ancestral Puebloans who inhabited Mesa Verde for more than 700 years. This World Heritage Site and International Dark Sky Park is home to over a thousand species, including several that live nowhere else on Earth. The park protects the rich cultural heritage of 26 pueblos and tribes and offers visitors a spectacular window into the past.
The cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde are some of the most notable and best preserved ruins in the North American continent. Sometime during the late 1190s, after primarily living on the Mesa top for 600 years, many ancestral Puebloans began living in pueblos they built beneath the overhanging cliffs. The structures range in size from one-room storage units to villages of more than 150 rooms. While still farming the mesa tops, they continue to reside in the alcoves, repairing, remodeling, and constructing new rooms for nearly a century. By the late 1270s, the population began migrating south into present-day New Mexico and Arizona. By 1300, the ancestral Puebloan occupation of Mesa Verde ended. You can also take tours of the dwellings which include Longhouse, Cliff Palace, Balcony House, Mug House, and Square Tower. These tours usually last from 30 to 60 minutes depending on the site and reservations for tours must be made in advance. The tours are ranger assisted, involve hiking around 2 miles round trip with an elevation gain and ladders to the dwelling. During our visit, all but one of the dwellings were closed for renovations. Four Corners is the only place in the United States where four states, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado, intersect at one point. The Navajo Nation Reservation spans 27,000 square miles in Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico. Four Corners Monument is one of more than a dozen monuments, tribal parks, and heritage sites within the reservation. The entry fee is $8 per person and they don't accept a national park pass.
Most national parks have restrooms that are basically little more than glorified porta potties. The restrooms have no running water and usually have hand sanitizer, but oftentimes they are empty. So it's a good idea to bring your own hand sanitizer and be prepared. Note to travelers. Nowadays, travelers use their cell phones or navigation for directions. Oftentimes, on long drives through desolate areas, there is no cell service. It's a good idea to take a screenshot of your phone's navigation. This way, if you lose service or close the app, you'll still have directions. After Four Corners, we headed to our new hotel in a new state. We were heading out of Colorado and heading towards Utah for the next leg of our trip. This unique resort is located off the beaten path and sits at the base of a rock formation. The resort had all of the amenities including a pool, sauna, and restaurant on site. stayed in was one of the largest I've ever seen and came with three beds. There were great outdoor areas and a wonderful atmosphere in the evening. <laughs> 